All right, so this is um, just some practice thermochemical equation problems um, of how to write them and then how to do them. So it says calcium oxide reacts with water to produce calcium hydroxide and 65.2 kilojoules of heat. This whole top section is our equation that we're going to need to write. Um, the second part is the actual question. So we need to look at charges on, on these things. So calcium is 2 plus, oxygen 2 minus. They're going to balance out that reacts with, that's plus, with water, H2O, to produce is that yield sign, calcium hydroxide, again, calcium has a two plus charge, hydroxides on the back of your periodic table, and we're gonna cross those charges. Um, at this point, you would also have to balance it. Um, it is actually already balanced. So there's one CA, one CA, two oxygen on the left, two on the right. Um, so that's balanced. And we got to add that heat at the end. Um, again, this is a product, so that's a negative heat. All right, so let's look at the actual question. It wants to know how much heat is released, so we're looking for kilojoules, and it gives us 100 grams of calcium oxide. Um, so we're going to start with that number. The question gives us 100 grams of calcium oxide. Uh, diagonal matches. It wants um, heat, but we have to get moles first. The moles are always going to be 1, and we're going to get those grams from the periodic table. So calcium is 40 and oxygen 16 for a total of 56. Um, so we're just going to use our calculator. And we're going to get 1.7857, and that's going to be moles of calcium oxide. Now that we have moles, we can actually get the heat. So same thing, diagonal matches. We want kilojoules on top. And these are just going to come from the equation. So we got one mole of CaO. And then it is negative 65.2. And again, we're just going to use our calculator and multiply the top two. And we're going to get negative 116.428. Um, with sig figs, that would just be three sig figs. So that's going to be negative 116 kilojoules. All right, one more example here. So this one says, um, gasohol contains ethanol, which when burned reacts with oxygen to produce water and carbon dioxide and 1235 kilojoules of heat. And then it wants to know how much heat is released from 12.5 grams of oxygen. So we have that ethanol, okay, and that's gonna react with oxygen and remember, oxygen's part of the 7-up rule. It should be highlighted on your periodic table, so it gets a 2 when it's by itself. And then that makes water and carbon dioxide. And then the heat there, 1235 kilojoules. Again, it is a product, so it's going to be negative. So we do have to balance this. Um, this is a CHO type of problem. We have to do carbons first, then... Uh, hydrogens, then oxygens. So there's two carbons and then six oxygens. Hold up. All right, so we have um, two carbons on the left and two carbons on the right, so that's good. We have a total of six hydrogens over here on the left. And so I put a three there, so now we got six on the right. And last thing now is going to be oxygens. You got three here. And four here for a total of seven. Um, normally you'd have to double it, but this one's a little odd. And there's an extra oxygen hiding over here on the left. So there's one of those. So that means we need six more to get a total of seven. So that means that here must be a three. So that is balanced. And now we can start the actual question. So it wants... 12.5 grams of oxygen, and it wants to know how much heat is released by that. So 12.5 grams of O2. Again, that diagonal matches mole on top, and it's going to be 32 from the periodic table. So you just grab your calculator um, and divide 12.5 divided by 32. That'll give you a 0 0.39, and that's going to be moles of O2. And once you have moles of oxygen, then you can get the kilojoules using the equation. So a diagonal matches, kilojoules on top. 
It's negative, so it's a product. And then 3 from the equation. So we're going to take 0.39 times negative 12.35 divided by 3. And that'll give us negative 161 kilojoules.